Hello friends! Hopefully you can hear me okay. Happy Saturday. Or if you're watching later on, happy whatever day it is for you. Um, today we are continuing our adventure with Secret of the Old Clock. Um, continuing in our series from Oldest to Newest. So where we left off was the ham radio. Um, but we're not at the ham radio. <laughs> I did leave myself, I've been leaving myself little notes um, at the end of where I leave off in the game so that I can hopefully trigger a memory of what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, so I wrote down get get Waddell to cut crystal for the ham radio. Okay. Mr. Waddell got at the jewelry store, I think. And cues for barn. So in the barn there is a secret hideout, I guess. Um, which has I think that's where the ham radio is. And there's like this machine or something that needs cues from some notes that Josiah Crowley left for us. Um, so let's let's try talking to anyone here. See What's if they cooking? have anything to say. Well, I don't I'll think talk so. to you later. Alrighty dighty. Alrighty dighty. This music is the best. Hi Nancy. Did you ever hear Josiah talk about a band leader or something named Marcel? Marcel? Never. I'll be back in okay. a little bit. You're the bee's knees. <laughs> the bee's knees. We did have another record, too, that we haven't... We've listened to it, but it hasn't come into play yet. Um, so, what oh. could have made this picture move? <laughs> Good question, Nancy. That's the sewing machine that was Emily's mother's. All right, so let's go to the jewelry place um, to see if we can get some crystal cut. Hopefully it doesn't cost money or too much money. But we have $2.35, so that's okay. Um, Where's the jewelry store? There it is. Mr. Waddell, did you by any chance cut a blank recently for Josiah Crowley? No! Now quit bothering <laughs> me so I can work! Oh. Okay. Do we need a crystal first? Oh man. I thought that was gonna be the next thing. Um, Lowood Academy. Oh, that's right there. Let's Hello, just do Mr. that while we're here. I, got a I guess. Telegram from Mr. Brocklehurst. He's in class. I'll give it to him. He too gets paid very little. That's okay. <laughs> okay. So what are? What's the next step? We went fishing. Um, I mean, I don't want to just drive aimlessly around. I don't even know if we can... Can we get gas? Welcome we to can. Zippy's, where Zipless service is Zippily's app, and, and Zippy service, service is, is the, the zippiest. zippiest. Fill her up. Just 25 cents worth, please. I never get sick of that. Like, it, it seems like one of those things that would That'll probably get annoying. 25 cents. Here you go. Drive Zippily. But I love it. <laughs> okay. So, that just goes out there. That's where fishing is. So what are we supposed to do? We need, maybe go back to Mr. Topham. Would he have crystals? Let's find out. Is this way, right? Oh. 
Hello, Miss Drew. Hi, Mr. Topham. Hello. Now what? Marcel. Do you by any chance know who Marcel is? I think there is? was a note. Marcel was what Josiah called his favorite hat. About Marcel? His hat? The man named his hat? <laughs> he loved that hat, so to him, naming it made perfect sense. Aw. Do you still have Marcel? No, as a matter of fact, I gave that hat to Gloria Crandall. She said she was fond Gloria of the old Crandall. fellow and wanted something to remember him by. Although I suspect the real Crandall? reason she wanted that hat was to see if he'd stashed any money in it. Josiah ordered something from Crystal. the Krollmeister Crystal Company just before he passed away. Do you know if it ever arrived? You must be talking about that chunk of quartz that came last winter. I still have it right here. Why? Uh, cause we need it. I'm a rock collector. <laughs> Um, for my father. He loves quartz. I was wondering if I could buy it from you. For my father. He loves quartz. Perhaps we can work something out. You see, amazing as this is going to sound, I am able to project my thoughts into another person's brain. <laughs> oh, okay. Um... Is that so? <laughs> the only problem is, not everyone has the intellectual capacity to receive my thoughts. But since you have already demonstrated a high level of intelligence, yes, you may very well be the ideal subject. Um... Subject, <laughs> as in experiment? You are going to help me prove Guinea that pig? I am telepathic. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to shuffle a Here's deck which contains five happen. sets of these cards. Then I'm going to turn my back, draw a card, look at it, and start transmitting my thoughts. When you receive my thoughts, you will identify the card I'm looking at. Once you correctly identify five cards in a row, I'll give you that we piece of We have to read course. his but mind? what if I can't do it? Just stay focused on the cards and my superior brain power will do the rest. Very well, let's begin. Which card am I thinking of? Uh... Sir, this one. That's not right. Here's another. Tell me, what card is this? I'm gonna draw these. Okay. What card is this? This one. Wrong. Here's another. Which card am I thinking of? So it wasn't... Um, this one. Incorrect. You must focus. Here's another. <laughs> I'm focusing. Do you know what card I'm looking at? This A one. Square. Marvelous. Yeah. Here's another. What card am I thinking about? What card am I thinking about? This one? Wrong. Well, you failed to correctly identify five in a row. Shall we continue? Yes. You bet. Ready when you are. Very well. Let's, Let's begin. Read your mind. What card am I concentrating on? What card am I concentrating on? This one? Wrong. Ugh. Here's another. Which card am I thinking of? Star. This one? That's not right. I'm Here's so another. bad at this. What card am I holding? This one? Wrong. Here's another. What card is this? This one. Very good. Yes. Here's another. What card am I holding? What card am I holding? I think it's this one. Wrong. Oh my <gasps> gosh. Whenever, Whenever he, he picks up a particular card, he always says, says the same thing. thing. Well, I love to Nancy's mind. Five in a row. Shall we continue? Mind clue. Yes. You bet. Ready when you We're are. Ready. Very well. Let's begin. It's like the what horse. Tom's the horse. At? What card am I looking at? That's square. This we found one. that out. No. Try again. Which what? card am I thinking of? That was square. Did he change it? He might have changed it. Is it different? can't be different. What card am I thinking of? This one. Wrong. Here's another. Which card am I thinking of? 
I think it's this one. Excellent. Okay. Here's another. Do you know what card I'm looking at? That's what he said when square. This one? Very good. Okay. Here's it another. must have been a different Which card way am of I saying thinking it. Of? Which card am I thinking of? This, this one. one. Very good. Well, you failed to correctly identify We're almost five there. in a row. Shall we continue? <laughs> you bet. Ready when you are. Very well. Let's begin. It's such a nice Which day out today. Which card am I thinking of? It's nice and, like, good temperature. Got my top knot on. We're ready to play some Nance. What card am I thinking of? That's plus. This one? Excellent. Here's another. What card am I thinking about? Ooh, that one I don't know. It's either circle or star. This one. Excellent. Yes. Here's another. What card is this? What card is this? That's Squiggles. I think it's this one. Very good. Here's another. What card am I concentrating on? Five in a row. On? So we have to get them all. That's got to be Circle. I think it's this one. That's not right. How can that Here's not be another. right? What card am I holding? How can that not be right? That's the only one left. Unless that's that. I think it's this one. Wrong. Oh. Well, you failed to correctly identify five in a row. Shall we continue? You so maybe bet. they have multiple Ready when you ones? Are. Very well. Let's begin. This is which card? He's never said that before. I think it's this one. Wrong. Here's another. What? what card am I concentrating on? I don't. That's not circle. What card am I concentrating on? This one? Wrong. Here's another. Why is he giving different is things? That's this that. One. Excellent. Here's another. Can you tell me what card this is? This one? Incorrect. You must uh. focus. Here's another. What card am I concentrating on? So that's not the first two. This one? Very good. Okay. I wonder, could he be telling me what card he's picking up by which question he asks me? Well, you failed to correctly identify five in a row. Shall we continue? Yeah. You bet. We have Ready to do it. Are. Very well. Let's begin. Tell me, what card is this? This one. No, try again. Tell me, what card is this? This one? You go, girl. <laughs> Here's another. Okay, Can hang Can you on. tell me what card tell this me is? What card is this? Can you tell me what card this is? See, that's a different thing, too. Can you tell me what card this is? This one. Wonderful. Here's another. Do you know what card I'm looking at? That's square. This one. Marvelous. Ooh, are we going to get another. this? Do you know what card I'm looking at? That's the I same one. I think it's this one. Very good. Well, you failed to oh, correctly yeah, we got identify one five in a row. Shall we continue? We have to you get them bet. all right. Ready when you That's are. hard. Very well. Let's begin. Can you tell me what card this is? That's this. This one. You go, girl. You Here's go, another. Glenn. Go, what go. card am I holding? What card am I holding? What's up? You want to come? You want to come here? Come up. No, no. No? Okay. What card am I holding? Is that this, this one? one? No, try okay. again. Ugh. What card am I thinking about? That's star. This one? Yes. Here's yes. another. This is which card? This is which card? I don't know that one. This is which this card? One. Incorrect. Okay. You must focus. Here's another. What here. card am I concentrating on? Come here. Do or do not. There is no try. 
What card am I concentrating on? That's plus. This one? Very good. Well, you failed to correctly identify five in a row. Shall we continue? You bet. I wonder Ready if this when is you are. Very um, well. easier Let's in begin. junior. I don't remember. What card am I thinking about? What card am I thinking about? This one? Yes. Yes. There's another. Do you know what card I'm looking at? That's square. This one. Very good. So far, so Here's good. Here's another. Just please Which do all the ones I know. Which card am I thinking of? That's this one. This one? Wonderful. Here's another. We're almost there. Do you know what card I'm looking at? This yes. one. Very good. All right, we got one more. Here's another. What card am I concentrating on? That's plus. I think it. Yes. This one. We did it. Very good. You did it. We well, did actually, it. We did, I did it. it. But in any case, um, thank you for your assistance. Here's the piece of crystal that Josiah ordered. Take it. You've earned it. Well, actually, I earned it, but let's oh, not Oh, be quiet. But, Mr. Topham, Give me I the didn't crystal. really... I mean, you didn't really... I mean, <laughs> I'm afraid that subconsciously you may have... <sighs> yes? Never mind. Do you need anything else? It was no. nice talking to you. The feeling is almost mutual. <laughs> almost. <laughs> this... <laughs> the cat. <laughs> the demon cat. Okay, so let's go get the crystal... Crystalled. Crystallized. Uh, back over the bridge. Back to the car. Hi, Harvest! Maybe it's just me, but the stuff he says when you get correct answers always sounded vaguely creepy. It does sound vaguely creepy. And thank you for joining. Yeah, that guy's super creepy. Jewelry store. Hello, Mr. Waddell. Now what? Hello. I need for you to cut a blank from this piece of quartz. No big deal. Let's see it. The blank needs to be just like the one you made before for Josiah Crowley. Like I said, no big deal. <laughs> You're gonna have to cough up two dollars though. Okay. You can pay me when We're you pick it up. <laughs> Good day. We're gonna have to do some telegrams. Um, because we only have two dollars. So. What's our... Oh, we just have to go back and get our money first. Um, and I think it's somewhere up here. Yes. Oh, I almost hit the... I almost hit the bottle. I caught it last second. Did you deliver second. that telegram? I sure did. Good for you. Here's your money. And here's your next telegram. Go down to the railroad station and deliver this to Lizzie Joe. Keep Lizzie up the good Joe. work. All right. That's... Oh, I don't want to hit it. <laughs> okay. That's over here. Hi, Uncle John. This telegram must be for Willie Joe's sister, Lizzie Joe. Right you are. I'll take you to her. Last I heard, they were fussing at each other out by the tracks. Bye now. Railroad tracks are so cool. I would play on them all the time. Did you deliver that telegram? I sure did. Good for you. Here's your money. And here's your We're next telegram. We're gonna have to telegram. do a few Head so that we have enough to get to this gas, to too. Keep up the good work. Krollmeister nails. That's close. Oh, no. We touched it. That's over here, right? Uh, no. Uh, it's up here? Oh, it's right there. Wow. Hi, Mr. Connor. I have a telegram here for Dee Dee. She's out Dee -dee. back boxing up nails. I'll take it to her. You change your mind about that tip? Oh, that's okay. No. That nail you tried to give me before wasn't rusty, was it? Let me check. Nope. Nice and shiny and sharp. Good. Bye. Good. I wish that ball hole wasn't literally right there. Did you deliver that telegram? I sure did. Good for you. Here's your money. And here's your next telegram. Deliver this to Muriel over Can we at just Bash's do a few of these and go Keep back? The good work. And he'll be ready. Because I want at least a bit more. Where did he say to go? Vash's Dairy. That is up here. Nope, that's Sunnybrook Farms. <gasps> um... We're just driving around, having a nice drive around town. Must be over here with the cows. 
Mr. Jones, does somebody named Muriel work here? You Muriel. bet. Here, I can deliver that for you. Need some sour milk? Makes great pancakes. Ew. Uh, no, thank you. Bye. Sour milk and pancakes? That doesn't sound good. Is it done Hello, yet? Mr. Waddell. Are you done making that blank? Have you got my fee? Right here. Good. Here's the blank I cut for you. Enjoy. All right, but we only have 85 cents, so let's get some more money um, so we can get gas. Oh, let's go this way. Avoid potholes, because those are expensive. Did you deliver that telegram? I sure did. Good for you. Here's your money. And here's your next telegram. This needs to get to Mr. Cobb of Sunnybrook Farms. Keep up the good work. Sunnybrook Farms. Well, we found that. Go. Um, it was over here somewhere. I think it was up and left. Yes. Hi, Rebecca. I have a telegram for Mr. Cobb. Oh, please let me take it to him. <laughs> when he's happy, he does this wonderful little jig, and his eyes crinkle up so much they practically disappear from his face. May I take it to him? <laughs> okay. Sure. You're really nice. Right. Uh All right, let's get our did money. Did you deliver that telegram? I sure did. Good for you. Here's your money. And here's your We're next just telegram. Being like this the one mail goes person. to Counselor Jack over at Avondale Camp. Keep up the good work. So how much do we have? A dollar thirty-five. But we're gonna have to get gas. And I think that's over by the camp. And then we'll go, um Is this the camp? No. Then we'll go back to um Let's get gas. Welcome to the Zippy's. Ham where radio. Zipless service is zippy. You just got up. And Hello. Zippy service is the zippiest. Fill her up. Just 25 cents worth, please. Hi, Sam. Welcome. We haven't done much yet. So you haven't really missed anything. That'll we be got 25 cents. Here you go. Uh, we got some zippy. quartz for the ham radio, but that's that's about it. Otherwise, we're just driving around getting money. Oh wait, that's where the camp is. Hi, Alice. I've got a telegram for Counselor Jack. Uh, he's around here somewhere. Just give it to me. I'll get it to him. Thank you. Bye. We're gonna have to get gas again. Already. Here we go. Did you deliver that telegram? I sure did. Get Good that for you. money. Here's your money. And here's your next telegram. Go to the Got observatory it. and deliver expensive. this to Woody. Keep up the good work. Observatory. Okay, we have a dollar. That's pretty good. We'll just do like one or two more. Come on. I kind of like that you get to drive around everywhere in this one. But it's also sometimes annoying. Hi, Dr. Bob. I have a telegram here for somebody named Woody. Just leave that with me. He's a little busy right now cleaning up the professor's mess. Mm. Bye. <laughs> Oops. Oh, yeah, because he broke the ceiling or something. Or the lens. Something breakable. He broke it. You get caught, like, on the edges a lot. Let's get gas Welcome while we're to here Zippies, again. Where zipless service is zippily zapped and zippy service is the zippiest. Fill her up. Just 25 cents worth, please. That'll be 25 cents. Here you go. Drive zippily. We shall. Okay. Um, back to... Teletubby grams. Did you deliver that telegram? <laughs> I sure did. Good for you. Here's your money. And here's your next telegram. Take this to Mrs. Brownell at the Deer Mountain Resort. Keep up the good work. All right, that's good for now. So let's go back to the inn. Down this way. Yes. All right. And back to the barn. 
um, which is this, no, not that way, over the bridge, did it, is it this way? Is this the way I just went? That is the way I just went. Uh, oh, it's this way, okay, got it. <laughs> All right, and we need to go up the stairs. Where's the stairs? Oh, we have to, we have to do this first. Okay. But we still have to figure out the cues and see Marcel. Do we have Marcel? We don't. And we asked Mr. Topham about it, but I don't remember what he said. Um, okay, yep, yeah, that was that. So the crystal goes in there. What is missing? Okay. Now what? How do we know what this is supposed to be? Are we supposed to know what this is? I don't have any notes about it. Where's the instructions? Where's like the manual? Uh, hmm. Well, was it in his journal? Back to, wait. Okay, back here. It's so confusing. I hate crow noises. Hi, Mr. Topham. Now what? Do you mind if I look around what? some more? Be my guest. Go bend your spoons and let us snoop. This cat. Ugh. <laughs> um. Yikes. Can I like turn those down? The year 1930. The place. Maybe. The road to Titusville. Maybe that'll help. Is there any notes about it in here? Um, I mean, it's ham radio numbers. Eighteen ninety one, but it would be like just three numbers, right? The big TikTok on top. That's what we have to figure out. Um, the Thanmatrope Cage Bird Cage. Bless you. And then the trivet. We have the trivet. Okay. Um. Maybe we should look in our notes. Marcel. Oh, Gloria Crandall's Emily's mom. Okay. So we need to talk to Emily about that. Um, yeah, we still have the record that we listened to that we haven't used yet. Um, Yeah, the, 
The trivet's a decoder for something. I don't see anything about the radio, though. Yeah, that was just... Because it wasn't that early. Right? Hmm. Well, and we have no checklist. Maybe it's not in here? It was say. nice talking to you. Drop by anytime. I don't think there's really anything else in here. What is this again? Physics. Radiometer. Is there anything in here? No. Okay. Those just make noise. Um, yeah, I, I don't think there's anything else in here that will help us. All right, so let's go talk to Emily then, because we know that that's something we need to do. I mean, we can always call Bess and our dad. What's cooking? Well, I'll talk Absolutely to you later. Absolutely nothing. All righty -dighty. Except pies. Oh, wait, you can't. Your kitchen burned. Okay, so we Hi, need to Nancy. ask about Marcel. Would you happen to know where your mother put Josiah's favorite hat? Look in the drawer right below me. That's where all mom's mementos are. I'll be back in a little bit. Okay. Does she ever move? Is that Marcel? Oh, that's Marcel. Maybe this is the key to Josiah's safe deposit box. Okay. You don't need to look at everything in there, <sighs> do you? Sorry. Yeah, I do, actually. Can you go away so I can? <laughs> um, all right, so we have the key. Why does this picture keep moving? Don't worry, I'll fix it. Okay, so let's go to the bank. Let's go to the bank. Bank. Hey, CJ. You always laugh when she says, look below me. <laughs> because it seems like this would be very awkward with her just sitting there. Yeah, I agree. As soon as she said that, I like kind of cringed inside. This music is so relaxing. This would be good, like, Sunday morning music. Oh my god. Oh, There's, like, paper towels below me, near my feet. <laughs> below me! <laughs> and, um, I keep thinking it's my kitty that my feet are touching, but it's not. And it freaks me out because I don't want to kick her. Alright, where's the bank? Is this the bank? This is the bank. Come here. Come here. I have to give her attention every so often. You wanna come here? No? Okay. Decide. Hello again. I think I found the key to Josiah's safe deposit box. Really? I have it right here. It is Let's find from out. this bank. May I see if it opens the box? It takes two keys to open a safe deposit box. The owner's key and my key. And in this case, I'm under no obligation to open oh. it for you. Oh, well but then. I... However, were you to do me a small favor... <laughs> Such as... I hired a seamstress to make a dress for my wife's birthday next week. Unfortunately, the seamstress and I had a falling out, <laughs> and now I need to find someone to finish the dress. Just hire a new seamstress. Maybe I could find somebody. How much are you willing to pay them? 
Oh, the fact of the matter is, the dressmaker quit because I couldn't pay her. I misled uh -huh. you before. Business is not fine. I this misled bank is on the you. Brink of ruin. <sighs> oh. I'm sorry <laughs> Heavy to hear sigh. that, Mr. Archer. That's awful. I wanted to get my wife something nice because, well, it might be the last nice thing she gets for a long, long Aww, time. Oh, that's so now, sad. Emily and sweet. once mentioned that Jane used to be a dressmaker. It takes two keys to open a safe deposit box. That famous life lesson. <laughs> <laughs> um How much more has to be done on the dress? I have it right here. The seamstress said that all the do. pieces have been cut out and basted together. All that's needed is a sewing machine. When it's we finished, have a sewing bring it back machine. and I'll let you try that key in Josiah's safe deposit box. Okay. I guess I'll be going. Goodbye I now. guess I'll be going. Alright, let's go sew a dress. Back to the inn. All right, bye. What's oh. cooking? Since you used to be a dressmaker, do you think you could help me sew something? Me? So? <laughs> no, I can't. Sewing takes practice, and I haven't sewed a stitch in years. But you used Whatever to run a dress is, shop. Me, you could it. definitely do it. Then it's how not about hard. Me some <laughs> Nancy, uh -uh. so rude. No can do. Sorry. You always seem to be sewing in real life when people are sewing in this game. Really, you're sewing right now. Well, I'll talk to you later. You betcha. You betcha. Okay. Let's go sew. Uh, do we need to ask Hi, Nancy. for permission? I'll nope. be back in a little All right. bit. You're We're just gonna use her mom's sewing machine <laughs> without asking. It's why does this picture keep moving? Okay. Would it be all right if I used your sewing oh, okay, machine? Okay, we do ask. Go right ahead. But remember, you are. You're Ooh, on your own. You're sewing. I haven't sewed in real life in a while. There's no needle. It's probably in the box with the rest of Mom's sewing stuff. Ask Jane if she knows where it is. Oh, my goodness. Really? We just talked to her. What's cooking? Would What's you happen to cooking? know where the needle for the sewing machine in Emily's room is? I moved all of Gloria's sewing things out of there and put them in a little box. Look, I'm supposed to get the pies we baked before all the hullabaloo this morning ready oh. for the delivery man. They gotta be put in the shipping the container pies. just so or he casts a kitten. You're making a this shirt and working wants on details organized. right now. Ooh. Now why don't you go out on the porch and get those pies ready to go while I look for that sewing box? Okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. good. Now we get to mess with pies. All right, but how do we know where they go? How do we know where they go? Did she say? Did she say? Oh, we can snoop. Um, oh, this looks like that underground thing that we found last those time. Are the two brothers that built the inn and Josiah's house. I'll bet this was taken in that passageway I found. Yes, exactly, Nancy. You can never decide about what length you want the sleeves to be, so you just stare in the mirror forever. You never seem to like any length I try. Any well, any length you try. Yeah, I can definitely. I'm so bad at making decisions. There's something written on the back. So I can definitely relate. There's something written on the back. Yes, there is. Door in parlor window seat. Yeah, we knew that. We knew that. We figured that out. By accident. Can we not look at that? That looks that looks sketchy. That's it. How do we know what to do about the pies? Did she say? Uh No, she didn't. There's got to be some kind of instructions. Um, 
Um, wouldn't they be right there? It always feels like when this is the decision, I can't change it. Stress. Yeah. Decisions are so stressful. Why do we not know? I mean, they're in the wrong places, but... I'm not gonna know. I'm not gonna know. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just not gonna know. So, I mean, they're all in, they're all in the right thing, but I don't know what each town needs. Oh, she gave us a thing. She gave us a thing. Did she? Yeah, she did. <laughs> For each variety of, okay. Small pie always goes to the left. Sandgate. Okay. Two, okay. So Sandgate. Two large cherry. Two large cherry. One blue. Doesn't say what kind. And one chocolate. So there we go. So far so good. <laughs> very smart. Very smart. Um, Riverville, one small, one large blue. One small, one large blue. Got it. One small, one large chocolate. And two large pies. Okay. So one large, one small chocolate, and two large pies. Okay. Uh, Appleton, one small and one large cherry. One small, one large chocolate. One small, one large chocolate. And two of the same size. So we don't know if it's small or large. Okay. Skydale. Two large blue. Got it. Two large chalk. Got it. And two different size. Okay. Got it. Knoxview, two same size cherry. Two same size cherry, okay. One large blue and two same, okay, that one's all set. Smithfield, one small, one large cherry. No blue and two large chocolate. There, that there. should do it. That was cool, okay. We got your pies done. Thanks for doing the pies. The more I do it, the worse I seem to get at it. I want pie it. crust. Here's that I box. love pie crust. I'm sure that sewing machine needle is in there somewhere. I yep, see it. Yeah, right there. <laughs> I see it. Remember, when it comes to using it, you're on your own, kiddo. Well, I'll talk to you later. Suspicious. You betcha. You're suspicious. Pie sounds unbelievable right now, right? Like, I don't like pie, I just like the crust. Why does this but picture it, keep moving? I don't know, Nance, why do you have to keep saying it? Um, but chocolate cream pie is good. Alright, needle goes down here. And we need the dress. Okay. Okay, we got this. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I feel like this is easier in person. We're not doing too bad, though. We're doing better now. The beginning was a little bit... Oh. <laughs> the beginning was a little rough, but... I think we're doing okay. Hopefully it just doesn't have to be exact. There. Not bad, Miss Okay. Kay. Not bad at all. There's no type of pie filling that you would, at all, you would want it. The only pie 
that I like. I think it's chocolate cream pie. Um, I like pecan pie, but I don't like nuts. So, oh, you're still there. Yeah, I'm just not, I don't know. Maybe it's just like the filling. I don't like fruit cooked into stuff. I'm just really picky. <laughs> That's all it is. What's cooking? Oh, we don't well, need to I'll give it to you. Later. Bye now. The sewing doesn't make any sense, but I let it slide. Yeah, it's fine. It's it's Nancy sewing. It's different. All right, so we need to give that back to Mr. Archer at the bank. I feel like we're almost done with this one. Like, I feel like we got a lot done. Can you drive? Do, 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 do. All right, we got your dress. How's the dress coming? All done. This is beautiful. Thank you. Now You're let's welcome. see if that key you found opens up Josiah's safe deposit box. It takes two to make things go wrong. That was Josiah's key, all right. Okay. But that is not Josiah's will. It looks like uh, some kind of journal. I mean, it could Would be. Would it be okay if I kept this? If it was money or jewelry or something like that, I'd turn it over to Topham. But a journal? Finders keepers, as uh, far as I'm concerned. I just work at a banking establishment, but finders keepers. I'll be at my desk if you need me. <laughs> yeah, that's it's legal. Locked, naturally. <laughs> yeah, there's it's some type of code, Nance. <gasps> oh, this looks. This is like creepy writing. Is this? Does this have to do with the creepy record, I wonder? It could. Like the sound effects. Because Nancy wrote about the sound effects in here somewhere. So... Anything else I can do for you? That's my I guess first I'll be theory. Going. Give my best to Emily. Maybe in 1930 people just didn't care about anything. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Suspicious. Suspicious. Alright, um, so yeah, let's go back to the inn. We still don't know what numbers we need for the ham radio, unless I just forgot, um, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about that. Actually, let's call Bess. Drop a nickel into the slot, please. Very good. Now, how may I be of service? Uh, Bess. Hi, could you please connect me with Bess Marvin at KL54468? Just a second. That was so quick. Hello? Hi, Bess. It's Nancy again. Stay off my feet this time, okay? <laughs> oh, don't be such a crybaby. Hi, Nancy. What's going on? Emily's banker, Jim Archer. He asked me to sew a dress together for him because he can't pay the dressmaker to finish it. And the dress is for... His wife. He says his bank is on the brink of ruin. Goodness! Wait, uh -huh. did you say this was? Mrs. Mrs. Farthingham! <laughs> no. Anyway, maybe this Jim Archer guy just wants you to feel sorry for Nosy him. Neighbor. Oh, Bess. No banker in his right mind would make something like that up just to get sympathy. If people like Mrs. Farthingham get wind that a bank is in trouble, they'll pull all their money out and the next thing you know, the bank has to close. Mm -hmm. Well, then maybe he's just a cheapskate. All I know is if Mr. Archer really is hard up for money, he may be willing to stoop pretty low to get it. My thoughts exactly. Oh, we have a lot to say. Okay. I can't figure out Emily's guardian, Jane yeah, Willoughby. Have Why? What's wrong with her? A bit of snack, nothing really. while they're talking. She just seems so, so eager to believe annoyed. that Emily is mentally unstable and that it's all her fault. Does she have any kids of her own? Doesn't sound like it. Then maybe it is all her fault. <laughs> maybe it is all her fault. Difficult, exhausting job. At least that's what my parents are always telling me. <laughs> I just can't figure out why Emily's mom would have asked someone like Jane to take someone care of like her Jane. daughter. For Is one it, why thing, are you being so you judgy? Don't know what Emily's mom was like. She and Jane may have been two peas in a pod. True. Nor do you know what Jane used to be like. People change, you know. Also true. 
You wouldn't believe what I had to go through to get Josiah's trivet back. What did you want Josiah's trivet for? As it turns out, I think it may be some kind of decoder. Decoder for what? Well, it may have something to do with this journal I found in his safe deposit box. I have to enter a word to open it, only I have a no word. idea what the word is. I've heard a lot okay. of journals with a key, but with a code word? So maybe that it's man not loco. my theory? If it's a word? There's a drawer in Emily's room that she seems to want me to stay out of. Do you have any idea what's in it? Her mother's mementos. At least that's what she said. You don't believe her? I'm not sure. You're not sure? Sometimes <laughs> I get the feeling Emily's hiding something, that's all. Well, there's only one way to be sure about her. I think as soon as Emily leaves her room, you should take a good look through that drawer. She never leaves her so room. Too. Who said that? Me and my big mouth. Yeah. Oh, well, that's it. Okay. That's it for now. Bye. Oh, and if you call back and we're not here, it means we went to see this movie called The Big Trail. Yeah, this guy named John Wayne is in it. Helen says he's a real dreamboat. <laughs> we'll let you know if she's right. Okay. All right, so I thought it had to do with the creepy thing because that's the letters look like the creepy thing. So I'm going to I'm just going to try it. Is she here? She is. Okay. So let's put our record Maybe back okay on. Maybe I played a record. Sure. And get ready to note. So we get to hear a story. I'll never forget the night it all began. That dark, I mean, I could just skip ahead. Night when I decided the time had come to rid the world of the creature. We can still listen. But it would take money to do that. And to get money, I needed to confront my arch enemy, Nick, who had recently become able to transform himself fittingly into a Best giant story. warthog. It's a weird story. It's pretty good, though. When his forest he tells it really nicely. View, I dismounted and approached the door. I love the sound effects. My fear that he would hear me proved groundless, for a terrible storm began to <laughs> rage, washing away the sound of my footsteps. Footsteps, footsteps, footsteps. The rain streaked window beside his front door, and could see him sitting in front of the fire. He had returned to human form. But the malicious smile on his face suggested that he was recalling his recent poor sign exploits. Seeing that the door was unlocked, I hurled it open and marched across the room. I hurled it open. Him. Nick. Step away from that bottle of warthog potion, I commanded, <laughs> and give me the 20 gold coins you stole from my poor servant. I'm not going to give What's you that? a thing, save perhaps a taste of my sword. And with that, he drew his sword in an instant. Here we go. I had drawn mine, and so commenced the fiercest sword fight the world had ever known. <laughs> the storm raging outside paled in comparison. Step away from that bottle of warthog potion is your favorite line. Nick's experiences as a lower life form seem to have more than exploits. The close second, yeah. I fainted. I parried, and yet victory. It is such a good story. Me. What? You keep coming over here. Soon I began to feel my but you don't want to come hang out. Me. I was tiring come here. Rapidly, summoning every ounce of what little energy remained okay. in my body, I lunged at him one last desperate there you time. Go. Ouch! Why? You wounded me! I had managed to wound him on his right arm, just above the elbow. Curse you! His words, punctuated as they were by an untimely clap of thunder, 
sent a shiver down my spine. Save your breath, I intoned, and give me those <laughs> gold And give coins. me those coins. Here, take your Hello. precious coins. He tossed the bag of coins onto a chair, but as I reached for them, he reached for his bottle of potion, and in a matter of seconds, my night had gone from bad to, to horrible. horrible. D don't, don't. <laughs> That's the microphone. <laughs> Okay. Um, so let's see. <laughs> let's see if that. I don't know if I want to do it in front of her though. Let's just do it in the hallway. Um, well, thank you for your kisses. Alright, so hoofbeats. There's no H. Alright, so that. It's. It's not the right theory. <laughs> so it's a word. It's a word. What would the word be? Do we have a word? So we need the word for the journal. We need the cues. Still. We still Hi, have Nancy. So much to I'll do, be back in a little bit. And I don't know okay. how to find it. Okay. Okay. Luna. You can sit in my lap, but you can't touch anything. Can we talk to Jane? I like how there's Janes in back What's to back cooking? Nancy's. Well, I'll talk to you later. Bye now. Hey, get out of the drawer. it nicely okay so she has nothing to say should we go back in the tunnels how do we how did we do that how did how did we do that nope you can't you can't go up there can we not go back in there okay bye oh <laughs> Uh, okay, there we go. I was like, I know. Kitty, Kitty does not like to stay in my lap for very long. Um, I don't think there was. Did we do that last time? I don't know if we did that last time. I don't remember doing that. Jeepers. I'm behind one of the walls in Jeepers. Alice's room. I uh, bet bye, that's Kitty. how someone makes that picture move. You're too smart, Nancy. Are we supposed to? Well, she's gone. She's gone, so let's... Let's Guess go back. I not leave the lights on. Let me just casually step back out of the window seat while she's right there. Let's snoop real quick. Dearest Gloria, if you would do three simple things for me, I would very much appreciate it. First, keep this note for me, tuck it away in a safe place, and should I ever ask to see it, please allow me to do so. Second, don't mention or show this note to anyone else. Third, don't ask me why. I mean this from the bottom of my heart. You are a kind lady who sparkles like good water and makes me think that the sky's the limit. Can we keep that? Nope, so I'm gonna write that down. <laughs> bottom so this must be bottom's cue is a note to Gloria so you are a kind lady because those are some of the um, the hobo signs who sparkles like good water
and makes me think that the sky's the limit. Okay, Josiah. Josiah. Let's see this. Dearest Gloria, sorry it's taken me so long to answer your letter. I'm still a secretary at the bottling plant and business is booming, so I'm busier than ever. In fact, I'm typing this during my lunch break, so please excuse the mustard stains. Still love those bologna sandwiches. I used to love bologna sandwiches with mustard. Who is this person? We're twinning. Of course, I'll take care of Emily if something happens to you. All she has to do is write and I'll come running. But quit worrying about such things. You've got a nice place to live and that sweet little girl to keep you company. You've got it made in the shade. Me, I'm still in the boarding house. It's not the Ritz, but my room is right across the hall from the washroom and most of the gals here are honest and hardworking and fun. But there are a few bad apples, like this gal named Marion Aborn. She dropped in the other day to borrow some bobby pins, so I went to the drawer to get some for her, only when I turned back around, she was going through my purse. She said it had fallen over and she was just putting it back, but I know what I saw. Anyway, I sure miss you. I'm investing as much money as I can in the stock market because my boss says it's a surefire way to get rich, so next year maybe I can take the train out there to see you. Better yet, uh, maybe I'll buy a car. Wouldn't that be the butterfly's boots? Right soon, your friend forever, Jane. Interesting. Oh, was that it? Yeah. All right, let's say real quick. Snoop da doop. Snoop da doop. Okay. Um. So we have bottoms Q, but how many were there? There was three, wasn't there? Yeah, because there's Flute, Thisbe, and Pyramus. Oh, so there's four. So how are we going to find these other cues? I don't think I've seen any of those notes anywhere. We talk to her now? What's cooking? I think I know why Emily has been seeing and hearing strange things. Why would you just things. tell her? Well, I'm all ears. Tell me. I found a secret passageway that goes from the inn to Josiah Crowley's old house. And off of it, I found a staircase that leads to a space behind things? a wall in Emily's room. That's the staircase that's in this old picture. You mean, the noises that Emily's been hearing? The things she's been seeing? It's because someone's been sneaking around behind the wall in her room? It may even be that someone is trying to scare her on purpose. On purpose? Who would want to do something like that? I was able to open the staircase because I saw the picture I just showed you. And I found that picture on the shelf in your podium. You mean it was right there under my nose? <laughs> Hold the phone! You think I'm the one who's been sneaking around? <laughs> well, I did find it right there. I mean, Nancy shouldn't... Everyone's a suspect, Nancy. You shouldn't be telling your suspects about secret passageways. Can you, you think found. of somebody else who may have had access to that picture? <laughs> Anyone who's ever been behind this desk could have seen that picture. It's hardly fair to go pointing a finger at me. You're right. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. Well, you're just trying to help Emily, so I guess I shouldn't get mad. She went into town to run some errands. At least that's what I told her to do. Heaven knows she could use some fresh air. Well, I'll talk to you later. Okay. Bye now. What she, how'd she get there? Did she take her car? Did she walk? I mean, we already snooped in her room. Do we need to snoop more? Okay. 
can we snoop on her desk? No. Was there anything else? No. Was there anything else in here? I mean, I read this and I had no idea what it meant, so... I still don't know what this is for. Can we spell out F L? Is that a Y or a U or a V? Flute. No, there's no H, so it can't. Lawat, maybe? I don't know what Lawat means, but I wrote down Lawat Marcel's band. L W A T. Lawat. No. Okay. <laughs> Wishful thinking. Oh, to open journal, the coder is in the, the rivet. So it has to do with this. Oh, it, so it is the sound effects. Okay. All right. We're getting somewhere. Um. So hoofbeats would be G. Thunder O. Thunder again. Rain D. Good. Door opens. F. Footsteps E. Clashing swords L. L, thunder, O, and coins, W, good fellow, good fellow, was that, kind gentleman lives here, good fellow, good fellow, why is that? Or is that what we're supposed to type? G O O D F E L L O W. Oh, Food, okay. Seven point oh two five megahertz. Oh. Puck. That's who Josiah played in a Midsummer Night's Dream. All right. Flute knows. Me as Puck. Okay, so flute. So it was seven point oh two five megahertz. Um, gave this cue and told him what he was supposed to say in reply. He thought it was a joke, but that's okay. I can trust him. Pyramus, 7.057 megahertz. So what was this cue? He was in a f foul mood, but I told him his cue and gave him his reply. I told him to write it down and he did because I could hear the pen scratching on the paper. Okay, so what was it? Bisbee. 7.050 megahertz. It looks like some kind of record of the people Josiah talked to on his ham radio. Yes. Okay. I gave her her line, then had her say it over and over till she knew it by heart. She knows the cue line, too. Don't have to worry about her. Great. Great. <laughs> Uh, great. 
So do we have what we need? Let's go find out. <laughs> so over the bridge and to the left. We only have bottoms queue, but I guess adjusting the settings didn't make it any quieter. All right, so seven point. We still don't know bottoms, but that's okay. Maybe it doesn't matter. 7.025. Hello, Flute, are you there? This is Flute. But you sure don't sound like Puck, so explain <laughs> yourself. Uh, my name's Nancy Drew. So where's Puck? Well, I'm pretty sure Puck's real name was Josiah Crowley. And I hate to say it, but he passed away earlier this year. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Heck, I never got to give him his sentence. His sentence? Well, see, a while back, Puck dictated a sentence to me and told me that if and when he recited a certain passage from Shakespeare, I was to respond with that sentence. Weird fellow, that Puck. Could you tell me the sentence? Oh, no, Puck made me promise. I can only say the sentence after I hear the passage from Shakespeare. Is the passage from one of his plays? Don if I know. What if I figured out the passage? Would you tell me the sentence then? Uh, I suppose I could do that, yes. Did you know Puck very well? I felt like I did. Met him over the radio a couple of years ago. <laughs> what a character. Years What'd ago. What did you say his real name was? Josiah Crowley. Strange. I never heard of him. Why is that strange? Uh, he led me to believe he was this big cheese out in Hollywood. You know, You're... some famous producer, director or something. Said he owned his own studio. He didn't own a studio. And he certainly didn't live in Hollywood. I'll be darned. So he was just lying to me. <laughs> well, that's all right. I may have told him a fib or three over the years myself. <laughs> a fib or three. Like the time I told him I was a scratch golfer. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. <laughs> in any case... You tell me the passage, I'll tell you the sentence. Until then, over and out. But we still don't know what it is. But there was a book in Topham's house um, of a midsummer, a midsummer Night's Dream. And he loved that play. Hello, Miss Drew. Hello. Hi, Mr. Topham. Give me your book. Now what? Could I see that copy of A Midsummer Night's Dream you have there? Why? Well, you said it was Josiah's favorite play. I'd just like to take a look at it. It's a very old copy. I'd rather it not be handled unnecessarily, lest it fall completely apart. I'm sorry, Miss Drew, but request denied. What? Do you mind if I look around some more? Be my guest. Then how am I supposed to get it? Yuri, go take the book. Are we supposed to um, spy on him through the floor? Oh, top him. Um. It was worth a try. Yeah, I mean, we don't really have anything else to try, so let's, how much money do we have? Let's try calling our dad. Very oh. good. Now, how may I be of service? Hi, Mr. Kowski. Could you please connect me with my dad? His number is KL57187. Hang on a minute. Carson Drew. Hi, Dad. Did you pick those papers up yet? Yep. Great. Mm. You can give them to me tonight when you get home from Emily's. So, what else have tonight. you been doing? 
I'm earning money by delivering telegrams for Tubby's Telegrams. Teletubby Grams. Good for you. That's a great way to meet people and to accumulate a little cash. Good for you. Which might come in handy. You're putting extra wear and tear on your car, you know. Yes, Dad. <laughs> what else have you been up to? I'm pretty sure I saw the car belonging to Emily's banker parked at the side of the road by the Lilac Inn this morning, just before the explosion. Are you suggesting Emily's banker was somehow responsible for the explosion? It's odd that his car would be there, don't you think? It's okay to have your suspicions, Nancy. But in a town as small as Titusville, it's very easy to alienate people. Until you know the facts, you'd be well advised to keep your suspicions to yourself. Exactly. I'm convinced that Josiah exactly. Crowley hid his real will somewhere, and that it has yet to be found. Do you have any idea where he might have hidden it? All I know is that he had a fascination with Shakespeare, especially A Midsummer Night's Dream, and that he had a habit of writing reminders to himself and leaving them all over. <laughs> then you probably need to get in the habit of looking all over. There's this book of Shakespeare in Crowley's old house that Richard Topham won't let me see. Sounds like a good place to begin. Well, yeah. Bye, Dad. Take care. But we can't. All right, so let's try sneaking. Because the other way went to his house. Creepy's corner, but it's actually Coley's corner. Um, yeah, it's just straight up. Guess I better not leave the lights on. Why not? I don't hear anybody. Now would be a good time for me to of sneak course. inside and have a quick look at that Shakespeare book. Yes. Oh, the cat. Think about nothing. Back. The cat. The ugly cat. Yuri, be quiet. You're disturbing us. Quiet, cat. You're a demon. All right. Here Josiah we go. Josiah must have circled these quotes, but why? Okay, Pyramus. Oh. Thou speakest aright. try to write fast. I am that merry wanderer. Of the night. Something tells me I better write Flick. down all the stuff that's circled yeah. here in my journal. <laughs> oh, Nancy's writing it down? Well, I'm gonna write it down too, just in case. We get really good music to to listen to. Okay. Is that all of them? Yes. Yes it is. Do we need to look at anything else? I don't think so. Well, was there anything else he didn't want us to see? No, I don't think so. I can't go out the front door. He'll hear oh. me. How did we get? How? Oh, okay. I was like, what? You're enjoying the music too? Yeah. I love this music. Okay. So let's go. Yes, I better not leave back. the lights on. Uh, 
And now we have our cues. So back to the barn. And the very loud stair um, staircase. Lois. Thanks, Lois. Gloria. that part. <laughs> here we go. Hello? Flute? Are you there? Flute here. Is that you, Nancy Drew? Yes, it's <laughs> I me. Like flute. And I think I know the Shakespeare passage that Puck wanted you to listen for. Let's hear it. Okay. Shall we their fond Pageant C. Yeah, this one. Shall we there fond pageant C? Lord, what fools these mortals be. That's it. Here, let me check my logbook for the response. Uh, now I'm supposed to say, leave by road when the owner is in, because then there will be thieves about. Leave by road when the owner is in, because then there will be thieves about? Those were Puck's exact words. Well, hope I've been of some help. Over and out. Got it. Okay. So next we have Pyramus. And Pyramus needs to be at 7.057. Oops. Oh, really? I have to go all the way back around. That's lame. Seven. Is anyone out there? Hello? Can anyone hear me? This is Pyramus. Who are you? <laughs> My name's Nancy Drew. You? Does somebody Nancy named Puck Drew? usually call you on this frequency? Somebody named Puck well, used to. Do? Apparently he found something better to do. Haven't talked to him in months. Well, that's because he passed away not too long ago. Oh. Well, that's a good excuse, I guess. <laughs> How'd you know he called me Pyramus? I'm a friend of a friend of his. I found your name and radio frequency in his journal. So why are you talking to me? Did Josiah, I mean Puck, ever ask you to tell him something whenever he read a certain passage from Shakespeare? Whenever he rattled off this Shakespeare quote, I was supposed to rattle off this stupid saying he gave me. How did you know about that? Long story. But if I were to rattle off the quote, there's no reason why you can't tell me the stupid saying, right? Well, come to think of it, he never said the quote had to come from him. So, yeah, I guess I could tell you. Thou speakest aright. I am that merry wanderer of the night. How'd you know? Long story. What did he tell you to say in response? Wait a minute. I had to write it down. Here. You're gonna love this. A barking dog would do well to hold his tongue in a dangerous neighborhood. A barking dog would do well to hold his tongue in a dangerous neighborhood. I told you it was stupid. <laughs> I really appreciate your help. Okay. Just out of curiosity, what kind of car did Puck drive? Do you know? I don't think he had a car. Eh. And he tried to tell me he was rich. Over and out. <laughs> Okay. Spooky music. Is anyone out there? Hello? Hello? Can anyone hear me? I'm Thisby, but only Puck calls me that. Who's this? My name's Nancy Drew. I'm afraid I have some bad news about Puck. <gasps> oh dear. They closed the play he was starring in, didn't they? That's why I haven't heard from him. He's too far down in the dumps. 
Mm, uh, not quite. I was afraid it was something like that. Actually, you haven't heard from him because he passed away several months ago. Oh my. That's worse, isn't it? And after all that rigmarole he went through, making sure I knew my line and understood my cue? Your cue? Yes, you see, Puck, or whatever his real name is, or was, Puck wanted to share his love of acting with me. So he gave me a line to say, a very curious line, I might add, and told me to <laughs> repeat it only after I heard my cue, a passage written by Mr. William Shakespeare. So if I cue you with a passage, you'll respond with the line he gave you to say? Immediately. I know it by heart, you see. Mm -hmm. Here it goes. If we shadows have offended, think but this and all is mended, that you have but slumbered here while Ready. these visions did appear. <clears throat> the authorities are alert for bad water, so do not go this way. The authorities are alert for bad water, so do not go this way? That's what I was to say, although my delivery was much better when Puck was coaching me. <laughs> and now, as Puck was fond of saying, I bid you adieu. Over and out. Okay. So we got our things. We don't have a, a bottom, though. Well, we have a skew already, I guess. What does the Lawat stand for? Okay, so Fizby, the authorities. So authorities. Um. Are it's this. Um, bad water is this do not go this way this one okay flu leave by road so hit the road when the owner is in when the owner is in this one because then there will be thieves about two tenths okay pyramus a barking dog so this um, would do well to hold his tongue keep quiet in a dangerous neighborhood Bottom. Uh, a kind lady. A kind lady is a cat. Um, who sparkles like good water. So that is this one. Um, and makes me think that the sky's the limit. Sky's the limit. Ooh, okay. What is this? Your goal is to reach the end of the path and to land exactly on the last spot on the board. No going over. Each card can only be used once. You do not need to use all the cards. To take a shortcut, you must be on a spot with a picture on it and use the same picture to take the pathway. Good luck. Oh my god, this is the same game as in uh, Captive Curse. Okay, so to get this shortcut, we need a one, two, three, four. So let's try that. And then use that. Okay, and now we want to get to the butterfly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Hopefully this works. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But we've already used nine. Um, seven and two makes nine, but then we're gonna be using the sun. Uh, six and three. Okay. 
We've already used the drops, so we can't use that one. How many spaces do we have left? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That definitely doesn't equal 14. Um, so we need to reset because there's no way we're going to make that. I mean, yeah. Okay. All right, so... And I think, yeah, the yellow ones go back, so we don't want those. Um, all right, so how can we do this another way? What if we get to the clover? Clover's two, so that's... And we don't need the moon, so let's use that. Let's try that. One, two, three, four, five. Um, and we're not going to need the heart, so that's fine. Okay. One, two, three, four, five again to get to the diamond. And we've already used three, so we can't do three and two. Four and one, we're going to end up using the diamond anyway. So that doesn't really work. Okay. Um, well, then let's try getting to the sun. So we don't need the diamond anymore. I mean, the butterfly anymore. One, two, three, four, five, six. We don't need the crown. One, two, three. Three. Okay. One, two, three, four. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It is a cool puzzle, for sure. Um, Alright. I mean, that was kind of close. So, hmm. So if we use the shortcut here that kind of defeats the purpose. So, unless we have the three and one, because we obviously can't do two and two. And so that would mean we can't take the diamond path. So then we would need to take the butterfly instead so do we still take the snowflake? Because after that, we'd have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We could do that. 1, 2, 3, 4, but then we'd use the 4. Which is fine. I think. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. Okay, so then use the 10. Then the butterfly. Oh, but then we've used the four. Okay, so. Mm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Did we already? I don't think we tried it with the same. No, we did. We did. It's the same. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Tricky. The clover. We tried doing the clover. I feel like doing this shortcut is not the best idea. But I don't know. Five. One, two, three, four, five again. Yeah, see, this is where it makes it tough. Because we can't do that. We can't do that. Um, 
So what if we use the butterfly now? Is that what I tried last time? Two, three, four, five, six to get to the sun. And then we'd use the seven. One, two, three. And then we'd use the four, but then we would need the four. So in order to use the four, you need the four. Um, so wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. So if we use the six, then use the seven, we get to here. One, two, three. Yeah, because then we would need the three. Two, three. We would need the three. So that doesn't work. How many spaces are left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen to get to there. So can we use eighteen without using the one, three, or four? Seven plus eight is fifteen. No. We can't. Well, actually, no, 8 plus 6. Okay, so 8 plus 6. No, because it was 18. 1, 2, 3, 4. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 again. 15 again. Oh, that works! Math! <laughs> what is this? I'm gonna save real quick. Oh, God. Math! Thank you so much for the follow, Andy Lover, and welcome. A golf ball. No doubt meant to be used oh, on that no. golf course of Josiah's. <laughs> Right. And last stream, I did so bad at the mini golf. Take this to Tiny Town and for oodles of fun, use it there to hit a hole in one. Oh, I was so bad. I don't want to do that again. We're definitely close to the end. Alright, so mini golf is this way. We need a... this. <laughs> okay. What? I can't put it there. It doesn't let me. Am I supposed to get it there? Oh! <gasps> Another safe deposit box key? What? Okay. Let's go to the bank. Emily, please, just settle down. It's all right. It's not all right. Stop lying. Something's wrong with me. You've got to go talk to oh, Emily. Oh, come on. She's in a bad way. <laughs> we were just about to go to the bank. What do you mean? What's happened? Please, go talk to her. She won't listen to me. I'm no help at all. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> all right. Just go back to River Heights, Nancy. Why? What's the matter? I took a nap after I got back from running errands, and when I woke up, this was in my hand. It's one of the necklaces that I thought had been stolen. I have no idea how it got there. I must That's do things sketchy. and not remember. All this responsibility on top of losing mom. I can't cope with it. I'm having a, what Jane call it, a nervous breakdown. No, you're not. No, you're not. I don't want to talk anymore. No, you're not. Go home. You're just making things worse. It's okay. You don't mean that. You don't mean that. You're just stressed. 
It's the stress talking. Okay, now let's go to the bank. Oh, nope, we're done with the pies. Here we go. I keep hearing weird noises. All right, to the bank. Hello. Hello, Hello friend. I found another safe deposit box key that belonged to Josiah. Impossible. Josiah only Impossible. had one box. You've already opened it. Can you tell me whose key this is? It is one of ours. <laughs> where did you get it? I won it playing golf at Josiah's with a special ball. I had to ace one of the holes. Why does that sound familiar? I know why. That's what Clara always called me, her ace in the hole. That's who this key belongs to, Clara Pickford. How did Josiah have it? So, Clara Pickford was really Josiah Crowley in disguise. Haha. <laughs> he loved playing tricks like that. That's on why his favorite book right was the makeup noses. tricks or whatever it was. The Last Will and Testament of Josiah Crowley. Hey, we found it. The real one. I wonder what this is. Gloria Dowd, now Crandall, and Jane Gloria Willoughby, Crandall and circa Jane Willoughby. 1912. Jane Willoughby? That doesn't look the least bit like Jane Willoughby. <laughs> no, it certainly no, does. No, it certainly does. Better get back to the lilac inn and have a talk with her right Ooh, now. Ooh, we're about ready for the fun part. Here we go. Move out of the way, would you please? I'm kind of in a hurry. You're not going anywhere until you tell me who you really are. What are you talking about? I just saw a picture of Jane Willoughby. The real Jane Willoughby. It's been <laughs> swell knowing you, sister. Oh, goodness. Here we go. Car chase. I can't let Jane out of my sight. All right. Oh, what? What? <laughs> well, that was quick. I can't let Jane out of my sight. All right, so don't get stuck. No, we keep getting stuck. <laughs> I can't let Jane out of my sight. All right, two deaths. Let's see how many it takes. <gasps> no. All right, three deaths. <laughs> I can't let Jane out of my sight. Ah. Uh... Oh, come on, Nance. Don't you know how to drive? Oh, no. She's out of her sight. Oh, okay. Oh, how long does this go on? She's going in circles. Nancy, you better not get a flat tire during this car chase. She's I will hunt you down. State line. I know. I'll take a shortcut and hit her off. Uh, is this a shortcut? Okay. Woo! Did it! Pies. Why couldn't you just mind your own business? Why couldn't you? Dear Ned, I know you'll be home from school in a couple of days, but I couldn't wait to tell you. I just solved a mystery. I figured out that Emily Crandall's guardian was really an imposter named Marion. Marion. Who intercepted the letter Emily wrote to Jane Willoughby after her mom died. She pretended to be wow. Jane not only so she could steal Emily's valuables, it was that but so she could lady convince that Emily she was that she was about incapable in of running Lilac Inn and that she should sell it and split the money with her. On top of all that, I found Josiah Crowley's real will. So shady. In it, he left Emily so much money that she'll be able to hire all the people she needs to keep the inn going. Aww. He left Jim Archer a ton of money too, which means he won't have to close his bank. And from now on, he'll be able to buy his wife a new dress Aww. anytime he wants. As for Richard Topham, Josiah <laughs> left him nothing. Although Topham still refuses to admit that he forged the first will, and insists that he's going to contest the will I found. Dad says it's highly <laughs> doubtful he'll succeed. 
and that he'd be better off sticking to spoon tricks. Spoon anyway, tricks. when you get home, I'll give you all the details over a nice big piece of slightly damaged cherry pie. <laughs> Wait till you hear that part of the story. Ew, I hope it didn't As fall on always, the floor. Nancy. In the ground. Hey there, sassy detective. Congratulations on cracking the case. You've been awarded the title of... Puzzle Pro for solving puzzles at lightning speed. Zero deaths. <laughs> Great news, I think. Ooh. See, Frank and Joe Hardy have invited me to help them solve a mystery. Only this mystery takes place on a train. GG. But not just any train. A train that was found abandoned years ago oh, in the middle of Oh, this one's a good one. All of its passengers had simply vanished. Some people say the train is jinxed. Others say it's haunted. I mean, it'll be fun to finally get to work alongside the Hardy Boys, but I just hope the trip we're going on doesn't turn out to be, you know, one way. Is that a way. scorpion? Yes, it is. One way. Do we have to catch it? No. Frank and Joe Hardy and guests are invited to join Miss Lori Gerard for a journey aboard Hurley's Comet. All right, the game's telling me that I read too slow. Last train to Blue Moon Canyon. That's going to be a fun one. Oh, that was so good. I could tell we were kind of close to the end. That one didn't take as long. But I've also played it before, so I knew, you know, I had a little bit of a, an advantage. Um, but that was really fun, and I cannot wait to start the next one. Um, the next one will have to wait till next Saturday, probably, most likely. Um, last train to Blue Moon Canyon, so be ready for that next weekend. Um, but yeah, this was, this was pretty quick. Uh, which was, which was nice. It was a nice little transition. Um, because I think the next one might take a little bit longer. Um, but it is, it is a good one, so I'm excited for it. Um, and I'm excited to enjoy the rest of my day. It's still semi-early. Got to do a little bit of cleaning. Um, but I hope everyone has a good weekend. Hi, Terror. Thanks for joining. We're at the end. <laughs> We're at the end. But I kind of want to just enjoy this music for just a couple more minutes. Because it's so good. And I'll, I'll prep for the next one. Last train to Blue Moon Canyon. That one, I think, is Matt's favorite. He doesn't, he doesn't have a favorite, but I think that one's his favorite. He really liked that one when he played with me. But hello! You been lurking? Lurking in the shadows of the shadows? Shadowy shadows. We've been lurking in the corner. Creepy's corner. Uh, but this is so good. What are we... So that was number... Was that number 12? That was number 12. So we are... I mean, we're kind of like a third of the way through, right? Because there's... There's about 30... Is it 33? 34 games. Can't remember. Um, but we're, yeah, we're about a, th a third of the way through. Luna! Get down! <laughs> oh my goodness. Kittens climbing up the windows. <laughs> That's probably my cue to stop. Oh, she's fine. She'll be fine. Um, but thank you everyone for joining and hanging out. And hopefully you join me on the next one next weekend. Um, but yeah, it's a nice day here. So enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. And that's about it. That's all I, ha that's all I got. Unless anyone has anything to say real quick. Before we head out. Thanks for coming in. It was nice to have you guys. Nice to chat. Nice to hang out. Um, but yeah. 
I will see you on the next one. So thanks for, thanks for joining. Bye guys.